first keynote session of the day talking about the future marketing redefined. We have with us um, Mr. Hemant Malik, Divisional Chief Executive Food Business IDC. Mr. Malik is currently the Divisional Chief Executive of ITC's Food Business and is also a member of the Corporate Management Committee of ITC Limited. He is also one of India's foremost multi-business enterprises with interests in consumer products, hotels, paper, agribusiness, and IT. ITC Foods is the third largest packaged food company in India and also the fastest growing with strong play in staples, snacks, biscuits, noodles, spices, juices, dairy, chocolates, etc. all that we consume. So please, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together, even the virtual ones with me as I invite and welcome Mr. Himant Malik. A very warm welcome and sir, over to you. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, it indeed is a pleasure to be here today. And, uh, you know, I think the world is moving very fast. I thought my session was at four o'clock, but the session is at 3.50. So I'm glad I connected in time. And thank you for the introduction about um, ITC and ITC Foods. And yes, I have been a lifer here at ITC and I've been lucky to be playing a role in development of many of our brands as well as businesses. In fact, as I was thinking about this session and you know, I'm more of a practitioner than a, than a theorist. And when we talk about marketing redefined, I have to put it in my language. Uh, this is about 20 years back. And, you know, I spent many years now uh, when I look at my young colleagues in my office, you know, I might have started work before and they were still being born. Uh, the, I remember my first uh, marketing campaign. We were launching Ashirwa Data, ITC Foods had just uh, got into the Atta business. And we had developed a new communication thanks to Prasun Joshi, uh, who was, who's been with us for the last so many years. And this ad campaign is going on air. It's the first time you're putting it on air. And my uh, CEO, who for, actually for the first time I was working with somebody who was not from the marketing uh, function, so to say. And he asked me a simple question. And he says, you know, Hemant, you're doing this session. Uh, you're doing this campaign. What is going to be the sales lift because of this? And here I'm wondering what answer to give. I said, no, no, it's going to make brand... Uh, awareness it will make a difference to how people look at my brand but he said you know aren't we spending the money so that we can get some sales i said yeah of course and you will get it uh, but it was so difficult to actually answer such a simple question in terms of what part of my mix is going to make a difference to what uh, the sales happens but i think over the years uh, you know um, this is an answer that i think as marketers we may be able to give uh, to a better degree than than the the entire 50-50 rule where you don't know which 50% works. Uh, and I think that is what uh, is uh, this whole modern marketing uh, all about. And, and I heard um, Nabal talk a lot about uh, uh, digital and you know your entire tech munch is about technology. Uh, and as we see the consumer, you know the adoption of digitization by the consumer is all, per se, all pervasive. And when you look at the consumer journey of uh, discovering, engaging with and buying brands are becoming increasingly fluid and driven by micro moments, which actually forms a web of footprints across channels and leaving behind trails of rich data in the bargain. And it's pertinent to marketers to wake up to this reality of drying out strategies that are connected and in real time. This whole change is also making a difference in the, in the evolution as far as consumer inciting process is concerned. Consumers are more available to you. You can uh, not only speak with them, you can also follow the behavior and, and, and understand more in terms of what they're talking, what they're communicating about. Uh, this, has a, uh, this has an impact in terms of uh, new product development, how uh, fast you can get into the market. You are lucky you get fairly quick feedback uh, from the consumer as well. And it also gives us an opportunity to learn, to learn fast uh, and, and to adopt. Uh, at the same time, when we look at uh, digital com communication and we look at uh, now performance marketing, uh, which is supporting a significant opportunity for planning as well as for analytics. And this COVID has actually brought the coming of age of uh, e-commerce, uh, uh, where uh, you, know, you have a much more amount of information, data, uh, analytics that is, uh, that is possible, and many platforms share their reports and you can actually understand much more about how the consumer is actually purchasing your, purchasing your brands. At the same time, in, in FMCG space, uh, there are a lot of new channels of distribution coming up. And for 
legacy companies, as as Naval mentioned, you know, where the strength has been about uh, distribution and reach. Uh, today, that uh, particular strength is getting democratized uh, because uh, of uh, e-commerce as well as uh, uh, players like Uran. But when you look at all these uh, changes that I briefly talked about, uh, technology is at the uh, cornerstone of, uh, of, of everything. And therefore, when I was um, thinking about this session here today, and I said that, uh, uh, you know, what is it that I can share today? And, and I wanted to share my experience, which is what is the role that leadership can play in towards creating a mo modern marketing way of life, a modern marketing team uh, of, of players who actually look at uh, data, who look at technology, uh, you know, uh, and, and I, I felt that the most important role that uh, leaders can play is in terms of being evangelists for this. They have to be the chief sponsor for this change. And, and this same thing, you know, uh, and, and, and the times change so fast because just about maybe four years back, <clears throat> uh, to change the mindset towards even investing in digital was a big deal uh, because uh, people wouldn't, uh, you know, the marketing teams weren't convinced about it. You know, we were barely spending 2% to 3% of our monies on digital. Uh, and the whole debate was, you know, uh, does it really work? Uh, how do we measure? Uh, how do we go about knowing whether this, because I still believe that my traditional media of reach is, is way superior uh, than what it is. And I realized that if you have to change mindset, I think probably it was also coming in from a lack of knowledge, right? And therefore, the first task was in terms of how do we go about capability building? How do we give exposure to our people? How do we look at uh, skill development? And what are the processes that you set in place for continuous knowledge enhancement? We had evangelists in the form of Facebook and Google. We, we created joint uh, business plan partnerships. Uh, we learned from them in terms of how to develop uh, digitally optimized creatives. Uh, I, I sent a team of uh, my marketing people to Singapore to spend time with Google, who actually showed in terms of which kind of a, how the advertising needs to be uh, crafted and customized for this, <clears throat> for this, for this medium. Uh, then we moved towards in terms of creating a digital day uh, where we could expose our team to the larger ecosystem that is available. And we had a lot of uh, partners who came, who, who presented in terms of what is the new thinking that is going in. We also looked, felt that it is important for the organization digital language to evolve. And we crafted a full uh, program. And, and when we were crafting the program, uh, we realized that if everybody does not start speaking the new language, then only if the young brand managers has learned about it, it is not going to make a difference. So each of us went through this program. It was sponsored uh, from, from head office in Cal from, uh, from ITC, and therefore it was not only limited to foods business, it was across all our businesses. To be able to develop one uh, common language, you know, when somebody talks about top of the funnel and the bottom of the funnel, you know, it, it becomes a language that, that, that all of us can kind of uh, relate to and, and, and understand. At the same time, I believe that uh, continued learning comes from new solution providers. And now there are so many of them and you have to see whether are you an organization that they want to come and show their new development are you the one which is going to be open to trying something new and something different sometimes things will work sometimes things will not work but can we be at that cutting edge to actually experiment continually we also realized at this point that all the skills were not available in house and we went uh, we, we got um, a new talent, a talent which had sufficient experience in terms of digital, who came and crafted this uh, 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 the, the digital uh, uh, journey for 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 for, for us. Um, we got uh, also in-house creative development, and you know that was something that we also had to decide whether we should only outsource. But when you started talking about moment marketing, you realize that you needed something 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 in-house. But uh, for everything to happen, uh, you know, if you have to be the evangelist, sometimes you have to be a little tough. Uh, and, and actually, I recall uh, setting up, I said, okay, very simply, this year, 9% of your marketing budgets on whatever goes on ATL has to be spent on digital. And today, it sounds very funny that, you know, you had to sell this, but it was just not too long back. I think the last one has completely changed it. 
uh, but but before that and 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 it was important to do that because once people start spending they start realizing that there is some the clear clear advantage that comes in i recall that we had uh, we have about 13 brands uh, at that time active and we had 13 digital agencies so we kind of said no we can't have more than two so we are going to work only with two because then they can see a larger pie of business with us and we will they will be able to give the best quality support and and that was something that we did uh, at the same time i personally i believe that uh, it has been uh, my role to continually uh, challenge the team to be, be contemporary because this world is changing so fast uh, you know it, there was a tiktok which came and it went when instagram started and today it's it's part of everybody's lives but how do you make sure that you know you are going to be one of those first to to participate in 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 in, in the new ideas that are coming up uh, normally we have been very shy in terms of participating in uh, awards but i think when it came to, to digital i said no i want all of us to participate as much and win as many awards as you can because that will further increase confidence in what you're doing and you will learn a lot from all the other participants uh, the the other thing i found uh, and that is when you deal with very uh, set of very smart youngsters is that um, there are times when you have to also highlight that you may not be as smart as you think right and that itself can be a big motivator i recall that uh, you know i i asked for once uh, some information in terms of uh, this is about what is happening on e-commerce and i'm talking about 3 years back or maybe 4 years back and i realized to my surprise that in a city like delhi for ashirwad data about 20% of my business was coming from e-commerce and i knew that my marketing team was not aware that this is already happening because if they were aware they would have actually found reasons how to actually build it even more so i asked them this question uh, the the marketing manager and said do you know how much sale in delhi is happening and delhi was one one of our uh, biggest market uh, but i think that was a turning point because the moment people realized the potential uh, i think today needless to say it's you know for i think it's true for every company and so is it for us uh, that um, and the business has grown rapidly and uh, uh, i but but it was just so not only looking at the the sale then it started looking in terms of the quality of content right and then you started looking at in terms of review and ratings because just to get that and i'm very happy to say today that i think 90% of our brands are rated superior in terms of rating across uh, across platform which are showing rating uh, compared to our competition and it also puts pressure personally on me to try to be contemporary uh you know and maybe and sessions like these and friends like novel actually help out in terms of telling me what all is happening uh, so that one can always be uh, be contemporary but i think the largest um, onus is about uh, investing in technology it's about investing ahead of the curve and and i i think uh, as far as itc is concerned we have always uh, you know uh, believed that uh, technology is going to be the way forward and this is one area where you are it's very difficult to actually show return on investment to start with but the technology itself starts delivering return on investment in the long term and and we've done some uh, significant uh, interventions uh, we've set up uh, um, a 24/7 social media listening that we did about two and a half years back which we call the sixth sense and that has become a significant source of uh, trend spotting uh, of insight generation we've had new launches uh, last year we launched uh, uh, immunity juice when covid happened first in the few days itself you discovered what is happening as far as immunity is concerned we tied up with amway and we naturally launched their immunity juices uh, all of you would have heard the dalgona coffee craze which had happened and we we created a sunbean uh, beaten cafe that we launched we saw a lot of concerns in terms of uh, quality of food and we launch our nature superfood so this sixth sense has become a real power source for us of information and i think it also you know there's one more aspect that happens when social uh, media becomes very uh, very very uh, big is uh, the risk to your brand uh, because there are times there can be fake news there can be rumors and i think you are able to pick it up track it and actually be able to address it very very quickly we've also gone in the journey of building first party data uh, of building a customer data hub uh, using the uh, leverage across itc's uh, databases um, 
I think it's doing very well. Now it's got added with DMP. So we are able to do fair amount of, uh, you know, targeting to where we want to, and we've been able to create our cohorts uh, and, 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 and actually purpose our communication, depending upon the cohort that we are targeting. This was a time we also uh, launched our own store, the ITC store. And that I think has been a fantastic job done by the team. Uh, today, almost uh, no, more than 700 products are available on ITC store. It got, um, it's available in six metros. We, you know, promise delivery the next day. Uh, and today it's almost about four five percent of my total e-com sale is coming from from the store uh, and and it is the reason was that we knew we are launching so many products we launch about 100 new products every year for the last three years as itc and it was important because that by the time you can get listed in every platform but this is one platform where we can make sure that we are we are listed and we can take this uh, conversation with the consumer forward in terms of not only talking about the product but in terms of how you can use it and, and, and how you can, uh, you know, get more feedback from it. Uh, we, we have a customer care center that tells us about, so we use, uh, uh, you know, voice to text, NLP to mine uh, data that comes in uh, towards the same. Uh, so this is the piece where I'm talking about investment in technology. This is most critical. And I think this is again, a, a space which is continues to evolve. Uh, there is more that is happening. Uh, of course, you need to have a very clear vision in terms of where you want to take it. Uh, how it is uh, seamless so that information available is easy for people to to look at to analyze and and to actually use uh, the next area I, I i found very exciting was about building chain champions and i to me uh, the, the 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 youngest um, uh, 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 people who join itc fresh out of college uh, they they became the reverse mentors for us uh, they are the people who drove the first journey for uh, for digital, uh, and 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 that actually you know uh, powered the system in a way because people got that empowerment as well as you know they were digital natives, so it was much easier for them to, for for them to look at. Uh, and of course, uh, the categories that were more reliant on digital, I think that D two C is a concept that again we are looking at uh, quite 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 seriously. Uh, Having said that, uh, you know, the most important thing, of course, is about feeling proud about what you're doing, uh, motivation through uh, celebrating your best practices. And, and we launched a, um, a forum, what we call the Excellence in Marketing Awards. So there are awards uh, by, you know, by, by many platforms. But this is the award that we have for our internal platform, uh, because we have a fairly large uh, marketing team, large number of agencies, where the agencies and brand managers uh, together present the, 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 the best uh, what they would have done uh, in terms of um, creatives, in terms of insight generation, in terms of execution. And, and we completed our fifth Emma's uh, two weeks back. And uh, you know, uh, over the years, newer categories have got added. And to my surprise, I found that eight out of the 13 categories this year were all around digital, around technology, around commerce around insights which were based uh, based on data and that was a real uh, pleasure to see that how uh, how 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 we have uh, evolved and 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 you know how we are geared up to actually you know take on whatever is going to happen and therefore when i look at in terms of um, when i see modern marketing uh, in in simple terms for me it is about um, plan to change it's about manage change it's about accept change and it's about embracing change. Thank you.